In recent news, the founder of the UST stablecoin, Du Quan, has been arrested in Montenegro and charged with eight counts of fraud and market manipulation in New York. Quan has been on the run for several months and is also facing criminal charges in South Korea and a lawsuit by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Quan and the former CFO of Terraform Labs were arrested at the airport in Podgorica while attempting to fly to Dubai using fraudulent Costa Rican travel documents. The UST stablecoin was once the third largest stablecoin but suffered a depegging and seven-day-long bank run-style breakdown in May 2022, which resulted in an estimated $48 billion loss in value. The breakdown also led to other business liquidations, which contributed to the crypto winner. Quan has been charged with conspiracy to defraud, two counts of commodities fraud, securities fraud, wire fraud, and conspiracy to cheat and engage in market manipulation. The U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York intends to seek his extradition. And South Korea is also reportedly seeking his extradition. The charges allege that Kwan made false and misleading statements about the land blockchain's adoption and effectiveness and agreed to send trading strategies to an anonymous U.S. trading and investment company to manipulate the market price of USD. Kwan also allegedly agreed to modify an existing credit between Terraform Labs and the firm to repay it for its assistance in manipulating the price of USD. The charges also refer to false and misleading statements about the algorithmic mechanism that purportedly ensured the stability of UST's price in a virtual event and interview in May 2021 and March 2022, respectively. Kwan's arrest and the charges against him are among the most significant criminal cases to emerge from the crypto winner. Thanks for watching.